Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries. It is Sunday, November 21st, 2021 at 2.35 p.m. Mountain Time. We are here to discuss and review the last week of space weather and give you a little bit of a view into the future for those of you who are more sensitive to the effects of space weather on your mind, body, spirit, on your psyche, this should be helpful for you. So we just recently had a lunar eclipse that is a, was affecting the areas you see highlighted on this globe model. Dead center was Hawaii, but we experienced a very long lunar eclipse just a few nights ago on the 19th. That was an, an intense event. You may have had some type of wacky, inconvenient events or some revelations during that time. Not uncommon. Here is the view of it from photographers on Earth and another view with the actual Pleiadian star cluster in view as well. And this has been important to quite a few of my friends. So there you go. Some people have been saying it looks like a butterfly. Very beautiful. So where is our moon now? It is in the sign of Gemini, which concerns your shoulders, arms, hands, respiratory system, your bronchial tubes, lungs, nervous connections, and your sensory and motor skills, as well as your blood capillaries. So very important day for your system as well. Gemini is obviously quite, there's quite a bit involved with Gemini. So Hopefully you're feeling well. Take it easy on your body. We're going to now review. There is the 18th, the ejection on the 18th pre-solar, or sorry, lunar eclipse. Then there was this very large ejection, very slow from the 19th into the 20th. And the 20th into the 21st, there was another ejection, but all of them fairly small comparatively, and they did not have solar flares that were very powerful behind them. They are beautiful, but not as deadly as the ones we've been seeing in the past that have been making me like sweat a little bit. Um, if you want to keep up with those ones, you can download the Space Weather Live app. They will notify you when solar flares occur. You can also follow this particular YouTube channel for daily updates. The coronal holes here where the solar wind has been pouring out at a faster speed is what I believe has been causing the most distress on Earth right now. As you can see here, the X X class, sorry, X rays coming out of the flares have been low over the last few days. So we've been mostly looking at the wind speed, which has been 200 kilometers over average. It's been fairly high over the last few days. The pressure is not that high, but the speed is fairly high. Even right now, it's at 700. So that is about to switch on the 26th. The pressure is going to go. Uh, the pressure is going to go up but the speed is going to go down, which is kind of interesting. So there's going to be a bit of a switch in energy on the 26th. You may want to tap into that and try and figure that out for yourself. There is this little pocket opening up behind our electromagnetic field I've been watching, which has been very weird, this little, this little gap right here. And Russia is just shaking without any other evidence really of anything else. I don't see why they should be shaking. It looks like the U.S. and Alaska should be shaking, but apparently Russia is shaking a lot too. So shout out to all of you guys having lightning storms. We will be seeing you on the next week's small update and good luck out there. <laughs>